Hello everybody, this is Stringer back to go through all of the teams and do the group draw for my tournament. I know it's the first video since, well, like middle of December, it's terrible, terrible, but yes, as you could probably tell, I'm, fe I'm feeling a lot, lot better now. Still a bit coffee though, still a bit coffee when I talk, so if if, if the video like jumps, then it's probably because I've had a common fit and such. But as I said, feeling a lot better now, and I'm ready to get back to it. And I'm ready to go on with this tournament. So, first things first, as tradition states, I'm going to go through all the teams. And I'm going to quickly explain how the group draw will work. So yeah, let's get started. So we'll obviously start with me, your glorious host, your beautiful host, the most beautiful, attractive person in this tournament. We have Mega Raptor and Tarbosaurus. And I'm using the Blitz type one because, well, I come up with these rules, so I might as well use a Blitz type, right? Okay, up next, and um, yeah, these are all the swappy. So <laughs> I have a lot to remember for this tournament. Yes, it's gonna be interesting, very interesting. But I'll, I'll have like a, I'll have like a notepad of stuff. But anyway, going off topic. Right, next next lot we have Dan Saurus coming in with well Sorophaganax because the guy simps for it, and Crowlophosaurus. Hmm, not sure about a Secret Dinosaur being in second though, because obviously it's the tag team format. So you're going to get support effects, and secret dinosaurs don't have that. So I'm not convinced about Kralophosaurus being in second. Okay, up next we have Khalid with Taurosaurus and Tajongosaurus. Now this is this is a very balanced team. One thing I've noticed, a lot of earth dinosaurs, a lot of fire dinosaurs, and a lot of water dinosaurs. Very few lightning, grass, and wind dinosaurs. It seems like fire, water, earth seem to have the best support effects, so maybe that's what people are going for. But yeah, Tajongosaurus... And Taurosaur is very attack-minded, these two. So, yeah, it could be interesting to see how well this guy does. Up next, we have Iron Dan coming in with Stegosaurus and Super Spinosaurus. I think he used Super Spinosaurus in the last tournament. And it did well, it did well. Okay, up fifth, we have Dino Smash. And yes, you'll see, you'll understand why some guys have this slash in their name. That's because they've already been grouped. So, yeah, Dino Smash coming with Therizinosaurus and Diceratops. Yeah, not convinced about technique boost on this theory, though. Bit of a weird move set this. I mean, defense boost, attack boost, fair enough, but technique boost. Okay, next up we have Lazonje, Lazo 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 or however you say it, Lasagna, coming in with Mega Raptor and Super Baryonyx. Not many Super Dinosaurs in this tournament. A lot of people not don't seem to be using Super Dinosaurs in these tournaments. Right, in, up, up next we have Xeno Slick Goku entered the last tournament, coming in with Gygus with a Spectral Armor and Duoplocephalus Revival type. Xeno did well in the last tournament, could do well in this one. Okay, we have a newcomer, I think he's a newcomer. We have Hex Tank and Alpha Rajasaurus. I'll be intrigued to see how this team fares. Uh, returning from the last tournament, we have Random Shy Guy 10 with Sejuangosaurus and Spinotector. Spinotector will probably be a good support dino for Sejuangosaurus if they get the hits. The Shockwave and the Cyclone combo. I don't think they'll combo off at the same time, but... Well, Sonic Blast, you know, could be an interesting team. Okay, next up we have Asta with Decreosaurus and Anata Titan again, you know... One of the very few people using a grass dinosaur in this tournament. And one of the many people using a water dinosaur in this tournament. Okay, up next we have Drogon Targaryen III. I think that's a Game of Thrones thing and I don't watch Game of Thrones. Coming in with Spinosaurus. I think they used it like... Well, this is practically the same team they had last time. <laughs> it, uh, minor Shant. Not very original, I'm afraid. Okay, we have another newcomer in U. Coming in with Armatus and Super Spiny. So this could be an interesting team to watch. Arctic Warriors returning to yet another tournament with Alpha Kentrosaurus and Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, a full-on Alpha team. I forgot to add the rule where if you use an Alpha Dinosaur, you've got to use an Alpha move. I forgot to add that in. <laughs> but oh well, it's too late now. Another newcomer in Broxy with Amargosaurus Crisis Type. Basically copying Diddy Darius from last time and Stegosaurus. Yeah, I noticed quite a few people got Amargosaurus in the team. And I wonder if that's to do with the fact that Diddy Darius won with Amargosaurus in the last tournament. Okay, coming in number 15, we have Dragon Destroyer with Alpha Acrocanthosaurus and Super Triceratops. Got the Death Fire there, so it could be a tricky, tricky opponent, this dude. Number 16, we have a former finalist in Mr. Dinosauria. With Tajongosaurus and Super Displetosaurus. Could they do well? In the last tag tournament, this guy actually got all the way to the final. Okay, we have Lad 
coming in with Indosuchus and Namegdosaurus. So a very wild child team. Don't know how it's going to fare, but we'll have to see. Carnotaurus Man with Carnotaurus, of course, and Sukamimas. Now I really like I really like this Sukamimas. This could be a this could be another guy. This could be another debut hunt that could do well in this tournament. Right, another debut hunt. We have Man with T Rex and Brontokins. Because if, if 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 you use Brontokins in a tag tournament, that's very sweaty. Well, not as sweaty as this team from Shin Dominus. We have Omega Eocarcaria and Eoraptor. Ugh, Eoraptor in second is so OP. So OP in tag to, in tag formats. I was on the on the knife edge of whether or not to ban Eoraptor from this tournament, but I decided not to. And it kind of worked. Not everyone has Eoraptor because I, I, one thing I was afraid of is that everyone was going to use Eoraptor. Oh god, everyone's going to use Eoraptor in there because it's, Eoraptor is like OP. And so yeah, this guy definitely going to be one to watch. Okay, up next we have Toka Nightmare coming in with Alpha Sukamimus and Super T Rex. I think I think Toka will do well this time. You know, they seem to have pretty bad luck in my tournaments, but I think they'll do well this time. Okay, another debutant returning again. We have Morslet coming in with Augustinia and Ulura Titan. Well, again, a grass dinosaur. Not going to see many of those in this tournament. And, well, we got to have Ultima Dino King, haven't we? Coming in with Super Tarkia and Saltosaurus. Saltosaurus, this Saltosaurus is definitely going to rip dinosaurs a new one. Definitely going to be deadly. And we have, well... One of the naughty toddlers from the last tournament, Dino Hunter, making a return with Spinosaurus and Allosaurus Atrox. That's the less said about Allo Atrox, the better. Another debutant coming in here, Try with Pentaceratops and Terry Dinotector. So, this could be a lethal team. Okay, coming in next, we have everyone's favourite person, Cheer Knights, with Amargosaurus and Stegosaurus. And for those of you that don't know, Cheer Knights is crying over, okay? But they, like, they wanted me to call them Cheer Knights because... They like cheers. Right, number 27, we got Dino Hug. Dino Hug could have done well in the last tournament if he didn't get the points deduction. So I have a feeling Dino Hug will do well in this tournament with Alpha Acro and Ankylosaurus. MEJP10 really surprised a lot of people in the last tournament. Did so well. Almost got to the final. Coming in with Eucentrosaurus and Delta Dromius. MEJP10 have another remarkable run in this tournament. Coming in at number 29, we have Black Beauty. With Pachyrhinosaurus and Brontokins. Dun 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 dun. Uh, returning, featuring in yet another tournament, we have Blood Moon with the T Rex and the Deinonychus. Well, we saw the damage this T Rex did in the last tournament. Damage in this one. Although, again, having a secret dinosaur in second, not really convinced. Alright, number 31, we got Notebeat. Seems to feature a lot in my tournaments. Coming in with the gold Triceratops, the, well, the orange Triceratops, and Eocarcaria. Up next, we have Silver Knights with Spiny and Euoplocephalus. Yes, we have a lot of debutants in this tour. I think all of these guys are debuting. So we have Red Bean Ice Cream with Apatosaurus and Paris. Quite like this team. Got the Apatosaurus coming in first with a defense burst, you know. Be that health tank and then have the Paris support effect come in to heal. I like this team. Another team that could do well. We have... S Stranger Kid, and no, it's not an alt account, <laughs> with Parasaurolophus and Amplus. Alright, here's basic, this is basically a car, but this is basically Copy Inspector, the Maastrichtian team. I'm sorry if I pronounced, butchered your name, okay? But coming in with Brontokins and Eoraptor, not much to say here, is basically Team Spectre. And, yep, here's our champ from the last tournament, Diddy Darius, coming in with Alpha Kentrosaurus and a Shant. So the Shant will be very interesting, an Alpha Kentrosaurus. Not going for the Amargosaurus again, but, you know. This is why I like to see people with originality, not using the same old trash every time. Right, we got Moloch Horridus with Baryonyx and Lexovasaurus, not using our Cychania again. Yeah, this is a guy that used Cychania with all the tie moves. Not using it this time. We have the Skrill coming in with Shunosaurus and Gastonia. Now, this could be an interesting team. Gastonia is a pretty decent dinosaur. And we have the guy that doesn't understand how tag team tournaments work. We have Heady with Triceratops and Despletosaurus. At number 40, we have the Light Fury 22 with Lexovasaurus and Super Duper Paris. And in number 41, we have Dino Fans with Pachyrhinosaurus and Armatus Spectral Armor. And last but not least, we got the Gosman coming in with Terry and Ceratosaurus. Now, this Ceratosaurus is interesting because he doesn't have a super move. So he won't, he'll avoid bad matchups with fire dinosaurs. 
I'll be intrigued to see how Gozzi does this time. And we do have some bot teams to fill the gaps. So yes, it is going to be a 48 team tournament. And well, actually, <laughs> I forgot to put the moves in for these guys. Yeah, so what the, will the moves be? Well, well you'll just have to see when the tournament starts, won't we? So we have the champions team, the Alpha Chasmosaurus, champion of the Lightning Assault tournament, and Rugops, champion of the Kakajin Clash tournament. Okay, now we have continental teams for the bot team. So we got Team Europe with Megalosaurus and Iguanodon. Team Asia with Sauronophus and Monolophosaurus. Team Africa with a Frovenator and Aranosaurus. Team North America with Storacosaurus and Euteraptor. And Team South America with Abelosaurus and Piatnitskisaurus. And that is our teams for this tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Right, before I start entering Coffin Fets, I think it's time to do the group draw. The group stage. So we do have eight groups of six. And as you can see, some people have been grouped already. These are the guys that, base, that basically finished in the top eight in the last tournament. Well, apart from the ones that didn't enter, because there was quite a few that actually finished in the top eight last time that haven't entered in this tournament, which is disappointing, but it is what it is. So based on the last tournament and where everyone finished, this is our top eight. So Diddy Darius obviously won the tournament. Ultima Dino King finished second. Emmy, JP10 and Zeno got to the semi-finals. And then we have my me, Gauzy, who got to the quarters. And then, by virtue of the fact that these guys did better in the in the group stage than some of the other guys, we have Dino Smash and Shin Dominus have got the last 16. So yeah, let's get started. So, obviously, it'll be randomly drawn. And I have two random number generators this time. This one is for you lot, and this one is for the bot teams. Right, how this draw will work. So, first, first two slots will be filled by you, you guys, and then... After we have three teams in each group, I will do the draw for the bot teams. Now, the, the problem with the bot teams is that there's only six of them. So, a bot team will be going into group A, B, C, D, E, and F. And then I will continue the normal draw, group G and H. So, without further ado, let's get on with our... Let's get on with the group draw, shall we? And see who goes where and hope that we get some exciting matches in the group stage. So, best of luck, everybody. Let's get started. And our first number is number 22. Ooh, we're starting with Dino Hug. So Dino Hug will be going into group A. Right, up next we have number 2 for group B. And that is Khalid. So Khalid will be going into group B with Ultima Dino King. Right, next up we have, oh, number 3. So 1, 2, ooh, so Lasa Lasagna will be going into group C. Right, next up is number 14. Ooh, so we got man going into group D. Right, now for group E. That is number 2. So that is I and Dan going into my group. <laughs> right, up oh, number 2 again, seriously? Okay, so that's Hex. Again, all the top guys so far. So Hex will be going into Gozzi's group. I swear, if it's number 2 again, then this random number generator is rigged. Okay, 27. That, I believe, is... Should be the Light Fury, since we've already had Gauzy. So, yep, the Light Fury. Going in with Dino Smash in Group G. Right. Next up, we have number 8. Ooh, Dragon Destroyer. So, Dragon Destroyer will be going into a Group H. With Shin Dominus. Right, now we're moving back up to group A. Ooh, number 25. So that, if my calculations are correct, should be Heady. So Heady going into group A. And that should be our first matchup of this tournament. So yeah, it will be Diddy Darius going up against Heady in the first match of the tournament. Ooh, wow, group A is really looking intense. Really intense group. Could be the group of death. Right, now for group B. Number 16. Ooh, ooh, I thought it was going to be crowd over then. But no, it's Black Beauty. So Black Beauty going to have a tough start in their first tournament. Going up against Ultima Dino King. Ooh, I thought it was going to be crowd over then. <laughs> right. Number 10. 
Ooh, Carnotaurus Man. So Carnotaurus Man is going into Group C. And I think that is Xeno Slip Goku's group. Nope, that's MEJE10. So we'll see MEJE10 taking on Carnotaurus Man. Right, now for Group D. Number seven. Ooh, so we got Broxy. So Broxy will go into Group D to take on Xeno Slick Goku in the first match. Right, let's let's find out who my first opponent's gonna be. Number 19. Ooh. Ooh, taking on this dude with name I can't pronounce. Master Kittle Group of Death. Ooh, that's my first match. We'll be up against Master Chian. <laughs> I'm sorry, pal. I can't pronounce your name. Right, time to find out who Gozzi will be facing first. Number 13. Ooh, it's going to be LP Gozzi going up against Chain Knights. Ooh, that, that, that's, that, that's probably going to be a really good matchup. Really good matchup there. Right, as for Group G. Number 6. Ooh, we got Arctic Warriors. So Arctic Warriors will be taking on Dino Smash in the first match of Group G. Right, now for Group H. Ooh, so we'll have Blood Moon going up against Shin Dominus. Right, that means we have... Well, we are halfway through the group draw, ladies and gentlemen. So that means we will move on to the bot teams and see which bot team goes into which group. So as I said earlier, only six bot teams. So groups A, B, C, D, E and F will have a bot team. And then we will continue with the regular people for G and H. Right, so up first, we will see number six going into group A. So that will be Team South America. So Team South America will go into group A. Right, as for group B, they will get... Ooh, Team Asia. So Team Asia will be going into group B. Right, now for group C. Ooh, the champions team going into group C. Probably the toughest bot team going into group C. Right, now for group D. So that is number three. So that will be Team North America going into group D. Right, now for my group now. So we have Team Europe and Team Africa left. Ooh, Team, U team Europe will be going into group E, which means group F will get Team Africa. Right, that is the bot teams drawn into their respective groups. So now we can continue with this with well with the people with the you guys <laughs> right so we'll start with number 12 oh so that's nopey nopey getting their call up to go into group g right and now for group h oh number one I, well we all know who that's gonna be that's dan Soros. so dan Soros going into group h right now back to group a and actually we will see who Dino Hug's first opponent will be. Number one, that should be Random Shy Guy 10. So Random Shy Guy 10's first matchup will be against Dino Hug. Not the not the easiest, not the easiest opening here for Shy Guy. Right, time for Khalid to find out his first opponent. And it is number two. So that will be Ooh, Drogon Targaryen the Third. <laughs> what a name. What an awesome name. This dude deserves to do well in the tournament just for that name alone. But it'll be a tough matchup against Khalid. Right, on to Group C. Let's find out who Lasagna will be playing. Number 11. Oh, look, it's my alt account. <laughs> Straight S Stranger Kid going up against Emmy. Going up against Lasagna. Right, now for Group D, we will find out who Man's first opponent will be. And it is number four. So I believe that will be... Ooh, going up against the lad. The mad lad. So it's lad going into group D. And their first matchup will be against man. <laughs> man versus lad. <laughs> what a matchup. I just, I just thought of that. What a matchup that's going to be. Okay, that could be the matchup of the round. It's a man going up against a lad. It could be men against boys. Right, now to see Iron Dan's first opponent. Number six. I think that might be Dino Hunter. Oh, it is. Ooh, this is interesting. Two of the naughty toddlers last time out. Going up, going at each other. Ooh. And they're going into my group. Which means I get to pay them back. 
So we'll have Iron Dan going up against Dino Hunter. Ooh, Group F now. So that will be number three. So it will be Hex going up against... Ooh, Mr. Dinosauria. Uh, could be a tough match for Hex, that could be. Mr. Dinosauria, as I said earlier, did pretty well in the last tag tournament. Right, on to Group G now. We'll find out the Light Fury's first opponent. And it is number nine. So we'll have to scroll all the way down here to, I believe, the Skrill. So we will have the Skrill going up against the Light Fury. Right, as for Group H. Oh, that's number one. So that should be this. Oh, no, that should be Asta. We have Asta going into Group H, taking on Dragon Destroyer in the first match. Well, in, in the first round. <laughs> right, that leaves only eight combatants left to go into their groups. And they are Ur, Toga Nightmare, Morslet, Try, Silver Knights, Red Bean Ice Cream, Moloch Horridus, and Dino Fans. So let's see who goes where. Oh, number two, I believe that was Toga Nightmare. Uh, yes, I think it is. Oh my god, Group A. Group A is just brutal. Group A is like the most brutal group. Toga Nightmare going into Group A. A, where their first matchup will be against Team South America. And wow, look at that. That is one hell of a group. Oh, I'm glad I decided not to put myself in Group A this time. Look at that. That is a brutal group. That is, I, this is the group of death. 100%. This is the group of death. This is going to be one hell of a group. Diddy Darius is going to have a really tough time getting out of this group. In fact, all of them are. Wow. Right, number... Number six, I believe that is going to be Moloch Horridus, and I am correct. So Moloch Horridus going into Group B, yet again being drawn against Ultimate Dino King, but his first matchup will be against Team Asia. Group C now. Number two, I think that will be Morslet, if I am correct, and I am. Yep, yeah, I am. It is going to be Moore's luck going into Group C. So that completes Group C, and Moore's first opponent will be against the Champions team. Wow, Group C looks like a very open group. Very open, very competitive group groups. Right, now for Group D. And that is number three. So that should be Silver Knights. So Silver Knights going into Group D, where they will face Team North America in their first match. Right. Let's see who goes in the fun group. Ooh, number one. Okay, that's Ur. So the Ur is going into group E with me. Ur's first matchup in this tournament will be against Team Europe. Okay, now on to group F. Number three, that is. Ooh, I love doing these group draws. So exciting. I believe that will be... Oh, oh I'm, I'm dumb. It's this, it's this guy. <laughs> it's Dino Fans. So Dino Fans will be joining El Igozi. But their first opponent will be against Team Africa. Right, we have two people left. That is Red Bean Ice Cream and Try. So let's see who goes where. Okay, so Try will go into Group F, where they will take on Nopey in the first map in their first matchup, and that leaves, last but not least, the Red Bean Ice Cream, who will go into Group G and take on Dan Soros. In, the, in their first matchup. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the group draw. Wow. Wow. Like, all the possible, all the crazy matchups you could have. Like, round one. Look at the round one. We have Diddy Darius going up against Heady. Ultimate Dino King going up against Black Beauty. Uh, Khalid taking on Drogon Targaryen. Dino Hug going up against Random Shy Guy. Like, Iron Dan taking on Dino Hunter in round one. Uh, Hex going up against Mr. Dinosauria. El Igozi taking on Chair Knights. Like, round one is insane. Round one's going to be insane. Dino Smash going up against Arctic Warrior. Shin Dominus taking on... And Dragon Destroyer going up against Aster. Like, honestly, you could pick any matchup and it's going to be an insane matchup. We got Man going up against Lad. Like, I, I, can't, I really want to do this. I really can't wait for this matchup. It's men... It could be men against boys. MEJP10 starting off against Carnotaurus Man. So many new debutants in this tournament. It's going to be insane. It's going to be insane. Pop a comment down below. Which matchup are you looking forward to? Like, look at Group E. Look at this. Drawn in with the naughty toddlers. 
You look at, let's have a look at my matchup. So round two of all go up against Team Europe. But look at that. Round three will go up against Ur. But round four and round five going up against Dino Hunter and Iron Dan. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. This this tournament's gonna be mental. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this really fires you up for this tournament. And for those of you that didn't enter, look what you missed out on. Yeah. Yes. And well, until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. Mm -hmm.